Now let's see a C program in order to implement priority scheduling. Uh, let us see the variables. Uh, here n represents uh, number of processes. AT of 10 means arrival time for a maximum of 10 processes. BT means burst time. WT means waiting time. TAT means turnaround time. CT means completion time. PR means priority. So here priority scheduling means uh, for each process we have to specify the priority. The process which is having higher priority will be executed first whereas the process which is having lower priority will be executed last. Here in our program higher priority means smaller number let we have 1 and 5. So 1 means higher priority smaller number whereas 5 means lowest priority because larger number. Next to sum for calculating the completion time. I, Z, K are nothing but loop variables. Here we are using selection sort in order to sort the priorities. In selection sort we have to use POS and temp variable. Here total TAT, total tenor on time initial value is 0 as well as total waiting time initial value is 0. Next let us read the inputs. So print of enter total number of processes. So here n is the input. Next we have to read burst to time. So print of enter the burst to time. So here we have more than one process. So that's why we have to use for loop. So scan of percentage d comma m percent bt of 5. So likewise we have to read the priorities. Uh, so print of uh, enter the priority of the process if you see here scan of percentage d comma m percent pr of 5. Next we have to apply the selection sort in order to sort according to the burst to time and process priority. So here we have to sort priority as well as burst to time. So for that purpose we are using the selection sort. Uh, yeah, already I uploaded a video on selection sort. So if you want perfect knowledge on the selection sort, please refer the description or first comment. I will share that link, selection sort link. Just in this program, uh, just I will uh, show only one iteration logic. So this is the logic here. Uh, let us see an example so that you can get the more clarity. Yeah, if you see here, so here these are the processes. We have five processes and the second column is nothing but uh, burst two types. Whereas this third column is nothing but priorities. Okay. Next, this is nothing but our uh, selection sort logic, our selection sort logic. Uh, here the logic for the selection sort is very very simple. In the first iteration we have to find out uh, the smallest element index. Replace that element with the zeroth element. If you see here, uh, here we are sorting the priorities. So here the elements are 3, 1, 4, 5, 2 are the elements. So those elements are available yet 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 indexes. So in the first iteration what we are doing is we have to find out the smallest element index. So out of 3, 1, 4, 5, 2 what is the smallest element? 1 is the smallest element. What is 1 index? 1. So now we have to replace this 1 a of 1 with a of 0. PR of 1 with PR of 0. So after first iteration what will happen is the first two elements will be swapped. So 1, 3. Remaining elements there is no change. 4, 5, 2 only. Okay. After second iteration what will happen is we have to find out the second smallest element index and replace that element with the first index element. So here what is the second smallest element? 2. So we have to replace this 2 with the second element. The second element that is 3. So in place of 3 we will get 2. In place of 2 we will get 3. So remaining elements as it is 4, 5, 1. After third iteration we have to find out the third smallest element index. So what is the third smallest element? This 3. That index we will find. So that should be replaced with the third element. That is second index. So 3, 4. So likewise after the next iteration the next elements will be swapped. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the corresponding 
corresponding priorities after sorting. So according to the priorities, we have to sort burst to time also. So here priority 1 means which process, here this priority 1 means, yeah, here we have uh, uh, this priority 1 means what is the burst to time, 1 is the burst to time. So that 1 is written here. So this is the burst to time for the first priority. Next, priority 2 burst to time is 5. So that 5 is written here. Next, to priority 3 burst to time is 10. So that 10 is written here. Priority 4 burst to time is 2. So that 2 is written here. Priority 5 burst to time is 1. That 1 is written here. So here the logic is here the according to the priorities we have to sort. We have to arrange the elements. Uh, uh, elements uh, burst to time elements are also in uh, according to the priorities. We have to write the corresponding uh, burst to times. Okay. So for that this is the logic. So for first iteration I will, uh, now I, I am going to explain the logic as well as uh, I am going to show the first iteration. If you don't get the perfect idea then please refer that selections or program. I will share that link. So in that program I explained all the iterations. Okay. So for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, position equal to i, position equal to i. So in the first iteration position means 0, in the second iteration position means 1 likewise. So initially initially the position will become in the first iteration what is position 0 so initially position is 0 next we have to compare that element with the remaining elements so that's why we have written for j equal to i plus 1 so if the position is 0 then we have to start comparison from the first element onwards suppose if the position is 1 then we have to start comparison from the second element onwards okay next we have to compare priority of the j with priority of the position Suppose if priority of J is less than priority of the position, then we have to change the position, position equal to 0. So let us see the logic. So here initially what is position? 0. What is J value? 0 plus 1, that is 1. So we have to compare these two. So what is PR of 0? PR of J, PR of 1. What is PR of position? That position is 0, PR of 0. What is PR of 1 here? 1. What is PR of 0 here? 3. 1 less than 3, yes, condition is true. 1 less than 3, condition is true. So we have to change the position. So now position will become, if you see here, what is position? J. So here what is J? J is nothing but index. What is J index now? 1. So now position is 1. So that 0 will be changed to 1. So once again what will happen? J plus plus. So now J will become 2. J will become 2. So now also we have to compare priority of j with priority of the position. What is j now? 2. So compare priority of 2 with priority of 1. What is priority of 2? 4. What is priority of 1? 1. 2 less than, I am sorry, 4 is less than 1. 4 less than 1, condition is false. So there is no need to change the position. Out of 4 and 1, what is the smallest one? 1 is the smallest one. So there is no need to change the position. So likewise j plus plus. Now j will become 3. So now compare PR of 3 with PR of 1. So 5 is less than 1. False. So next 2, next 2 will be compared with 1. So that condition is also false. Okay. That condition is also false. So now what will happen is after all the comparisons are over in this J, J loop. Now we have to swap. Now we have to swap that 0th element with position. 0th element with position. So that means we have to swap PR of I with PR of position. So for that purpose, uh, just we have taken, uh, for that purpose, uh, here this is, this is not needed, this is wrong, this is not needed. So next 3, 1, 4, 5, 2. So 5 and 1 will be compared. So condition is false. So no need to change the position. Next 1 and 2 will be, 1 and 2 will be compared. So condition is false, 2 less than 1. So there is no need to change the position. So after first iteration, what is position value? 1 is the position value. So this 1 specifies that the minimum element is available at first position. So this is the logic. After first iteration, we will get the minimum element index. So now that element will be replaced with 0. Okay. That element will be replaced with 0. So this is nothing but position. So replace PR of Y with PR of position. So we know how to swap two numbers with, with, by using temporary variable. Temp equal to A, A equal to B, B equal to temp. So here A means PR of Y. 
B means P R F position. So likewise, we have to we have to sort bars to time also. Likewise, we have to sort bars to time also. So here A means B T of I for bars to time. What is the array? B T. Whereas B means B T of position. B means B T of position. That position is the smallest element. So temp equal to A, A equal to B, B equal to temp. Okay. So likewise, after first iteration. The first smallest element is at the first position. After second iteration, second smallest element. After third iteration, third smallest element. After fourth iteration, fourth fourth smallest element. If there are five elements, then four iterations are enough. So likewise, based on the priorities, we have to arrange the elements bars to times also. Okay. So this is the logic for the selection sort. Uh, if we if we did if we didn't get any perfect idea, please refer the description link. So there you will have uh, a link. Uh, So in that link uh, we have a selection sort with neat example. Just refer that. If you understand, just now let's see the how to calculate the completion time as well as uh, turnaround time as well as waiting time. Uh, here, uh, uh, here, uh, if you see the problem here, this is nothing but Gantt chart. So first we have to here first we have to execute this process. This process. So this one may be P two process or P three process or P four process or P five process. We should not bother about that. Let us treat that as P one, first two process. Let us treat that as P one. Why? Because we have to execute that process first. So here the initial bars to time is zero. The arrival time, I'm sorry, the arrival time is zero. What is the uh, here? These are the priorities: one, two, three, four, five. So here one means it is having highest priority. So first we have to execute that process. First we have to execute this process. So what is the bars to time of this process? This one. So zero plus one means one. So P one completion time is one. Next P two arrival time is one. What is P two bars to time five? So one plus five means six. So P two completion time is six. Next P three arrival date six milliseconds. What is P three bars to time ten? So six plus ten means sixteen. So likewise we have computed the completion time. If you see here, this is the logic. Sum equal to zero. For j equal to zero, j less than n, j plus plus. Sum equal to sum plus. What is the initial value of sum? Zero plus b t of j. So j means zero. So what is b t of zero? B t of zero means one. So sum equal to zero plus one means one. So that sum will be placed in c t of j. J means zero. So what is sum value? One. So that one is nothing but completion time of the zeroth process. Next, here there is no need to display the completion time. If you want, just you can display that also. Next to j plus plus, j will become one. Next to sum equal to sum plus b t of j. What is the previous value in sum? This one. So one plus. What is b t of one? What is b t of one? B t of one means five. So one plus five means six. So that six will be stored in sum. That sum will be assigned to c t of one. So likewise, uh, six plus ten, sixteen. Sixteen plus. Uh, next to sixteen plus two, eighteen. Eighteen plus one, nineteen. So likewise, uh, uh, the completion time will be computed. Next, we have to calculate the turnaround time. Here, arrival times are not given. If arrival times are not given, then there is no difference between turnaround time and completion time. Both are same only. Whereas, if arrival times are given, then we have to subtract arrival time from the turnaround time. But here, we don't have any arrival times, so there is no difference between completion time and turnaround time. So here, simply we are copying the completion time array into the turnaround time. Next, we we need to compute the total turnaround time. So for that purpose, we are adding that uh, that array element to the total TAT variable. So initial value is zero. So zero plus what is the total? What is the turnaround time of the first process? One. So zero plus one means one. Next one plus six means seven. Seven plus sixteen means twenty-three. So likewise, it will be computed. Next, we need to calculate the waiting time. The formula for the waiting time is uh, turnaround time minus bars to time. Turnaround time minus bars to time. So what is the turnaround time of the first process? One, so one minus what is the bars to time of the uh, first two process? So waiting time formula is turnaround time minus bars to time. Uh, so if we see the first two process, for the first two process turnaround time is one, whereas bars to time is one. So one minus one means zero. So likewise for the second process, that zero is this zero directly we can take here. This zero is nothing but waiting time. Likewise if it if we see P two, what is the turnaround time? For the second process, turnaround time is six. Six minus what is the waiting time? What is the bars to time of the second process? Five. So six minus five means one. 
So this is nothing but waiting time. So P1 waiting time is 0, P2 waiting time is 1, P3 waiting time is 6, P4 waiting time is 16, P5, uh, uh, P5 waiting time is, uh, uh, what is P5 waiting? P5 uh, waiting time is 18, if you see here. So this one, waiting time minus turnaround, waiting time equal to turnaround time minus burst time. If you take the fifth process, for the fifth process, what is the turnaround time? What is the turnaround time? 19. What is the burst time? What is the burst time? 1. So 19 minus 1 means this 18 is nothing but uh, waiting time. Okay. Uh, now uh, let us uh, execute the program. So if you execute the program, then uh, what is the waiting time here? Let us calculate the waiting time. So 0 plus 1 means 1. 1 plus 6 means uh, 7. 7 plus 16 means uh, 23. 23 plus 18 means 41. So 41 by 5 processes. That means 8.2. So likewise, we will get uh, turnaround time also. Uh, so let us uh, execute the program. Uh, so this is nothing but our program. So I will share this uh, program uh, code in the uh, first comment. I will ping that comment. Please go through that comment. Okay. So this is our program. So we have uh, bubble selection sort. Uh, next, uh, for, uh, uh, next we have calculated the completion time, turnaround time, waiting time. As well as here we need to display. Uh, that uh, uh, average uh, waiting time and average turnaround time. Now let us see the outputs here. So here totally we have uh, inputs and outputs. So totally we have, uh, if you see our example, five processes where the burst times are 10, 1, 2, 1, 5, 3, 1, 4, 5, 2. So here uh, we, we display the output in uh, in this order. So first to processes, next to burst times, next to turnaround times, next to waiting times. If you see here waiting times 0, 1, 6, 0, 1, 6, 16, 18. 0, 1, 6, 16, 18. 0, 1, 6. 0, 1, 6, 16. 0, 1, 6, 16, 18. So these are the waiting times. Uh, yeah, here in place of TAT, we have to write, we have to write WT. So th these are the waiting times. And these are the turnaround times. 0, 1, 16. 0, 1, uh, 6, 16. 0 uh, here these 0 1 6 16 18 are nothing but uh, waiting times whereas 1 6 16 18 19 are nothing but uh, turnaround times uh, if you see the outputs if you see the outputs so what is waiting time waiting time equal to 8.2 so likewise turnaround time means 12 so 12 means we will get some 16 60 if we add the values so 1 plus 6 means 7 7 plus 16 means 23 23 plus 18 means 41 41 plus 19 means 60. 60 by 5 means 12. So this is about uh, priority scheduling program.